Hello, Moore County, and welcome to the tutorial on WeVideo. WeVideo is a free website that you can use to edit or create custom videos. You can access WeVideo by going to WeVideo.com or by downloading the app at the Chrome Web Store. Once you're on the site, you must create your new account. You will want to create your new account using your Google.net email address. After you've gone through the first initial steps of creating your account, you are ready to make your first video. So we're going to go ahead and select Create New Video. Once you've done that, it'll bring you to your main editing screen where you can customize a video that you are going to upload or a video that you're going to record straight on the site. Your Upload Media button will allow you to upload any videos or uh, music, pictures, anything that you already have on your computer. So this can include anything from an iPad, an Android, an iPhone, any other device that you wish to upload. You can do that straight with the Upload Media button. If you wish to record uh, brand new footage straight onto the Wii Video site, you can do so straight from the Record button. After you've either uploaded or recorded uh, your brand new footage, you are ready to edit. The bottom piece down here is going to be your storyboard. This is where you're going to see how your video or how each frame will play out throughout the project. So I, once we start adding some media down here, I'll show you how, uh, how this tool actually works on the storyboard. Your different editing tools will be right along the top here. This first folder is going to be your, your personal media folder. This is where any pictures, audio, or video that you upload to WeVideo will be stored. So that will be all stored in your My Media folder. Your Project Media folder will be where your personal projects will be, will be housed. So if you have a project that you are continuing to work on on WeVideo, this is where that will be, be stored at. Or if you've already finished a project on WeVideo, that will also be housed in the Project Media folder. Your second tool will be your Videos tool. And this, this tool is great for creating your own customized video. And the first step is creating your background. You can select anything from just a plain, solid color background to anything that actually has movement to it. You can preview any of the backgrounds by hitting play, and they will appear in the preview window off to the right here. Again, you have lots of options of uh, different backgrounds that you can choose from, and again, just preview off to the right. Your next tool will be your audio tool. Your audio tool allows you to upload any audio or music that you already have on your computer. So if there is a specific song or a sound effect or even a voice recording that you've already done on your computer, you can upload straight from the audio tool. Or what is nice is that WeVideo does have pre-downloaded options that you can select from to include into your project. So you can scroll through your options over here on the left. Anything, th these are all basic uh, music that you can, you can put in. And then down at the very bottom, it has different sound effects that you can, you can include to enhance your project as well. Your next tool will be your transitions tool. Your transitions tool is, is great if you're creating a storyline with, sto with, uh, with your Wii video, or it can be used to enhance a video that you already have. Again, you can preview any transitions off to the right simply by clicking on them. And off to the left here under the transitions, you will have different options. You have basic standard transitions, uh, which, we can, which we just previewed a couple, to some that are a little bit more complex that you can include depending on uh, the needs that you would like uh, for your video. To add any media to your storyboard below, we're going to simply click drag and drop into our storyboard. And you can edit or delete as you go if something gets accidentally put in there you don't want, or if you would like to change it, you can do so. Um, same thing with your transitions. So if we find one we like, we can drag and drop into our storyboard and you will see it appear. Your graphics tool will allow you to add a specific background graphic to, to your actual project. Um, again, depends on the, on the needs of your video and the effect that you're trying to, uh, trying to make with it. But again, you can preview any of the different graphics tool off, off to the right. And they go from fairly simple to more complex animations, just depending on, on your needs again. Your last tool will be your text tool. 
This tool is great for uh, any videos that you pre-upload or any pictures that you upload and you would like to add captions to them or titles or subtitles, you can do so right straight from here. Again, to do that, you will simply drag and drop into your storyboard. And to type in your text, you will double click on the frame and you can start typing your text in the box. You do have the ability to change the color, um, change, the, change the font, um, really anything is, is, is uh, able to be customized straight from here. So we're gonna go back to our, our video here and continue editing. Okay, and as that's reloading, um, you'll see everything kind of reappear again. And after you're done creating your video, you are able to preview everything straight from the preview screen that we saw earlier. So we can click play and see how, how our video plays out. You are able to edit any of the time that it takes or that it spends on a particular frame. This is all one frame here. You can adjust that time by moving this green bar around here, which is along your timer. Okay, this will show you the, the time it takes for one frame and again, throughout the span of your entire video. That can all be adjusted simply by dragging any of the bars to adjust the length of each frame or the entire project. Once you are done editing your video and you are happy with it, you are welcome to publish it, which you will do by clicking the publish. After we click the publish button, you're gonna to want to enter in a title. So we're just gonna do sample video and set. This will bring you up to the main publishing screen. As you can see that there are some paid features to WeVideo, which you can always upgrade to if you would like to create longer videos or more detailed. And then there's also the free version, which is the one we will be working on. This will be the free version. The quality of the video isn't as great. So it just kind of depends on your needs for uh, how good of a quality video you would like to, you would like to produce. You can upload to any of the sites over here. The ones that are in gray are paid versions of WeVideo. The other option is just to upload straight to WeVideo itself, which you'll be able to watch your project straight from the site, or WeVideo will also send out a link to your .NET email address that you can uh, send out to others to watch your video. Those are the basics of WeVideo. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope you have a great time creating your new and customized projects. Thank you.